Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. This is Gaming Assembled. In this video, we are looking at my top 5 picks for mods for roleplay in Crusader Kings 3. In the comments on some of my videos for my Madeira campaign series and my Inheritance roleplay series, I have had comments asking me what mods I'm using. And this is true of forums and on social media as well. I see all the time that people are really quite interested in mods for CK3. The workshop on uh, on Steam is quite well populated and uh, other places like Nexus mods as well. People are always wanting to know good ideas for how to use them to get ever more interesting campaign ideas and things like that. And this is definitely true of roleplay uh, as well within Crusader Kings 3. So to that end, here are my top 5 Crusader Kings 3 mods for roleplay. But before we get started, if you find this video helpful, please do consider liking the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment below. And be sure to check out my Inheritance series and Madeira campaigns on CK3 if you haven't already. But for now, let's dive in. So in number 5, we've got the Community Flavor Pack. This mod adds a huge amount of depth to the game, and it really helps you to build and pad out a background narrative that can give rise to a much more broad roleplay story. You can do all sorts of things with it, things like matching the visual of your characters to their personality traits. Uh, so for example, matching a humble character with more subtle clothes, uh, a more plain uh, crown or headdress or something like that, depending on the culture. Um, you could have an unassuming court appearance, which isn't necessarily good from a gaming perspective, where the the game encourages you to have lots of uh, prestige based on uh, that, on the court grandeur uh, being quite high. That's not necessarily good to have a low level for the game, but if it matches with your roleplay, then it really adds to the depth of what you're trying to do. Helping to make your characters more distinct from each other and to help drive... Uh, the story forward based on the role play is also really, really important. And using this mod in this way can really help to fuel that uh, progression as you go through. Uh, looking at a character whose motivations are based on greed and ambition, who is succeeded by the more humble character that I mentioned before, for example, can really add flavor to the game so you don't feel like you're repeating yourself and doing things over and over again. And embracing things like different religious views, different cultures that the, the mod adds in as well, can also be a source of roleplay that you can draw upon in your story. It might be a, a factor that would be uh, affecting the decisions made by a character. The tenets of the culture or religion might be something that changes the direction of your expansion or what you uh, do in the game uh, from the perspective of that character. And so... This is very much the power of roleplay sort of in, embodied within a mod, which is absolutely brilliant. In at number four is the Social Relations Expanded, SRE mod. Roleplaying a character based on their traits is key to an engaging story that in turn makes a really gripping playthrough. However, the interaction side of things between characters is another fundamental element of the roleplay generation process that keeps the story and the saga entertaining and enriching through the generations of a dynasty. It might be that it's a long-standing friendship between characters that lives on through time. It could be a son taking revenge for the slights against his father or a title being granted or withheld based on past events or rivalries. This mod adds a greater depth to this element of the gameplay, taking it further than the Friends and Foes DLC does alone. It allows you to tailor your roleplay decisions based not only on who your character is, where they've come from, what they've experienced and what their education is, but on how they see the people that have made the journey through life with them over time. Number three. The Regional Immersion and Cultural Enrichment Pack, or RICE. This mod has a lot of region-specific content to add to any roleplay campaign experience in CK3. At the time of recording this, there are 25 different flavour packs for you to choose from that add uh, new events, new cultures, new religions, 
decisions, buildings, dynasty traditions, lots of other things as well to help drive your role play in the game. Use the mod to supplement the use of traits and character relationships to live out your campaign through the eyes of your dynasty members. Based on the cultural and religious background of, of the region that your character inhabits and the events that occur, what would their priorities in their rule be? Would they see their neighbours differently? How would these uh, factors lead to changes in their foreign policy and their war targets? Would they go to war at all or would they stay at peace? Number two, the Regency and Ruler Training Mod. Playing as a custom child ruler at the beginning, as a child ruler in the existing game, or even as an adult character, you can utilize this mod to add roleplay depth to your game. Become a regent of a child ruler and use your personality, character, and education traits as an adult character to determine what type of regent you would be. Would you be a paragon of benevolence and guide your ward in the best interests of themselves and their realm? Would you scheme your way to the support of others and try to seize the realm out of your own ambition? Would you recognize that the world is a dangerous place and use your military viewpoint to seize the realm, in the interest of everyone's safety of course? As a child ruler, can you form friendships and develop your skills effectively to guide your way through this difficult time of transition and survive to rule your birthright? Time will tell in this game enriching mod. Finally, in number one, we have the Shattered Tribal World mod. Like the fall of Rome and the coming of the Huns before it, events have conspired and the world has changed and fallen into chaos. In this mod, all counties are now independent and tribal, with development level zero. As your roleplay game begins, your character has a great challenge ahead. You're no longer certain as to whether you stepped forward or were volunteered by the people of your community. But either way, you have been appointed to be the local leader of your people and rule of your county falls to you and your dynasty. Can you use your personality, education and character traits to guide your actions and lead your people forward into the future? Can you bring back prosperity to your realm? Can you expand? Can you even hope to survive? Time will indeed tell. So these five mods are some of my favorites for new roleplay campaigns on CK3, but these are just my five favorites. Do you have others? Would you rank mine differently? Comment below and share your thoughts. We'd love to hear from you. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out my other videos in my CK3 Top 5 mini-series and the other CK3 series on the channel as well. But for now, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.